you're having a positive day. We are very happy to announce we are going back to Orlando, Florida. So we have a lot of fun things on the itinerary. It's not gonna be like a full Disney vacation. We are leaving a day early because there's a hurricane that's coming. So we want to definitely beat that. The flight's probably gonna get canceled anyways. Artie is very excited. She will not stop whining when I put her down. <laughs> she knows we're leaving and is very ready to see Florida again. We're very excited to be going. I will see you there. to Orlando. I'm super excited. It is humid. I have not been here in the summertime and it's just the end of summer now. We're just getting settled in and then we're going to find some lunch because we're pretty hungry. The flight was pretty good. Just had some turbulence at the end going through the clouds. Of course they're a little gray right now. So gonna find some lunch. We ended up taking the JSX airline again which we do pay for ourselves. Um, Daniel ended up getting it for us because they are a lot more dog friendly, lenient, not so strict on how big or small they have to be. So it was really nice. It's like a semi-private. We actually used it back in February when we came to Florida to catch our cruise. So if you miss those cruise vlogs, we do show more of the airline there. So because we came a day early, we actually don't really have any plans today. We are going to just go eat and maybe see some of Daniel's family and we'll be back soon. We got lunch, it was delicious. They had really thick pieces of chicken. Very good, very messy, which is not a bad thing. We decided to go over to downtown to Lake Eola and we're going to walk around with Artie and just enjoy the rest of the day. are on another adventure so the hurricane pretty much just gave us a lot of rain a little bit of wind all in the night so nothing too bad but they do have some places that have closures today we are going to adventure a little bit go check out a museum what else are we doing wonderworks wonderworks so all new things for me i have no idea what it is we were actually just having breakfast at einstein bagels which was delicious and we decided to kind of find some fun things to do. So we're gonna head out over there and see what the day brings.
I think they have like a light. The light makes it go up. So you think it's going up. Yeah, that's interesting. Up. Freeze. Down. Technique. That's how it's going to go around. Yeah. You got stuck. Stop on my right foot. Don't forget it.
put it in. just got back from our outing day so we did a lot of indoor activities so that way of course we didn't get rained on so we tried to go to the museum I think it's just Orlando's history museum in downtown but unfortunately it was closed so we didn't do that we actually had a lot of fun and saw a lot of cool things and then we just went and got some Chinese food at one of their favorite places, which was very good. And now we are just relaxing for the night, chit-chatting. We will see what tomorrow brings. We are planning on going to Gatorland and go mini golfing in City Walk. So that will be really fun. We had a lot of wind, which was great today, and not too much of the heat. Just on and off sprinkles and a couple of downpours. We also went and walked around a little bit before dinner and while we were walking around we found a couple of photo shoot spots also the Orlando eye was right there so it's just like the London eye we also saw a like oxygen massage kind of place so it was like a spa and so we went in and a lot of places had like a hurricane special so you could go in and pay like half price for certain things because you came out during an, a lower impact hurricane so of course when it's safe but so since we did that and we had a lot of stuff to do we actually saved a lot of money so that was cool it was really unique so she gave us this tube to put into our nose and it blew air you know fresh oxygen into our bodies and that's supposed to help you sleep and just overall feel more energetic and healthy for, you know, the next two days, I think. And you can add certain vitamins and stuff. So it was a really unique experience. And then also while we were getting those, um, that oxygen in our body, she gave us some eucalyptus essential oils to rub on our hands. And she put some peppermint on the back of our neck, which it kind of acted like, and icy hot so it kind of had a cooling effect which was nice and then while we were sitting there getting all of that in our system she used uh, one of those pulse kind of guns for massage and that felt really nice and then there was also it's like an electronic or an electric shock kind of massage so it's a patch that you put on your muscles and then you can control the amount so it was really cool to kind of play around with that and just get that massage at the same time a lot of cool things and just a first for all of us something unique to do while trying to stay inside but not stay at home so very cool very fun day good night to Gatorland. I have no idea what they offer here. I just wanted to see some gators. So of course this is the best place to go. It's already very pretty and we see some babies over there so we're going to check them out first. But otherwise we're just going to walk around and see what we get up to because I want to see some gators. Somewhere ahead the road it winds in no I can't stop can't read the signs but a little piece of me
both alligators and crocodiles here. Ooh, that's a fun fact to know. Oh, there's a big guy in the back. He's sunbathing right there. So they think of a new idea. So they pick up the Seminole sack, jump in the water, grab a gator, pull them out, and wrap them up. It would be safe for the cattle, safe for the settler, and more importantly, safe for the American alligator. But the thing is, a lot of people started using those tactics for poaching, pushing these guys to extinction by the 1950s. But thankfully to our conservation efforts all over the world, they made a huge rebound, and by the 1980s, there was about 2 million of these guys just in this state. About 9 to 12 alligators in this arena, all ranges are from 6 and a half to 7 feet long. Within that range, all weigh about 150 to 250 pounds. And these guys are 90% muscle. Do uh, you need to keep going? Uh, yeah, keep going for a oh. second. Oh. Everyone with me! One, two, three! Keep going! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! Alright, the show is over. Thanks for coming. Alright, how you doing, Gator? In a good mood? I think so. Alright, guys, so again, the goal here is to get on the back of the alligator. But obviously, the alligator is pretty fast. And it's going to try that. Oh my god, they're so cute. Little burglars! <laughs> oh my gosh. How cute! That one's little. made themselves known. Yeah. You got your own personal little fan. We just finished up with Gatorland, so we only actually stayed for a couple of hours because it was a toasty 91 degrees and like 63 degree or percent humidity, so it definitely felt kind of like you were stepping into a little bit of a rainforest. So we didn't stay too long, but they had a lot of shows to offer and 
it was it was a good time we saw the gators and that made me very happy and they had a little bit of different kinds of animals as well that they had so tortoises and birds and snakes and some encounters where you can touch them and it was cool we're just going to go over to fresh kitchen which is a little uh, healthy eatery that I saw I want to try out once we're done eating there we're going to check out the Titanic Museum that is also on iDrive or International Drive so we can look at some Titanic stuff it is something that we actually bond a lot over and bonded over when we first met so I'm excited to see that I don't think I've ever been to a Titanic Museum surprisingly but anyways we're gonna do that and then we will meet up with his friend and play some mini golf just hope <laughs> just hope that it definitely um, cools down a little bit more it's definitely cloudy just stay open till 905 905 I'll do that for both faces. The broccoli? Can I get the grilled steak? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Alright, I got avocado, pico de gallo, parmesan cheese, citrus chicken, broccoli, and kale Caesar with a strawberry lemon fresca. Daniel got a kid's bowl to try that with sweet potato, pico de gallo, steak and rice. Yummy? Pretty good. Pretty good? Ooh, spicy. Yum yum. We also got Daniel a haircut. Woohoo! Haircut. Oh my goodness, that meal was absolute perfection. I feel filled, satisfied, but not like stuffed. It was healthy, it tasted delicious. It was the perfect light summer, hot day kind of meal. Also would have been really good with coffee, um, which I barely drink, but that just gave me that vibe. And I think Daniel really enjoyed it, no? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. I, I could have used more rice, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, he usually gets like extra rice when he, when he goes somewhere like Chipotle, so that makes sense, but it, I didn't think that he would even get anything, so that was great that he tried it and that he liked it. Very good. I will definitely be going back. Hopefully we have one back at home. If not, every time I come here to visit, I will be making sure to eat some. Something that really stood out to me about them is that they they wear these shirts that say um, made with canola oil and then they cross it out and it says olive oil. So it's actually 100% olive oil cooking. They had this citrus chicken that I could have so much of and we pretty much eat fairly healthy on the day-to-day -day. of course being on vacation we're eating a little worse <laughs> and I want to know how they made that broccoli because I need to make that at home super healthy loved it and definitely recommend we just finished at the Titanic Museum it was very nice I loved seeing everything and it definitely kind of brought me back to the movie and the research and the shows and everything that I've watched about it. And I did have a moment where I almost teared up. Definitely um, a little sad kind of memoirs to, to look at and see people's personal items. But it was a really good, very fun experience for us. And there's a little dinner gala that you can do on certain nights or a certain time of night. And we would love to come back and do that sometime. Also, it was really good that we actually ended up leaving Gatorland because being inside, we actually heard on the roof that it started storming outside. So everything is super wet and it's sprinkling. So it ended up actually working out pretty well. We were each given a boarding pass and we weren't allowed to take any video in there. So I'll insert pictures, but we were given a boarding pass, a ticket, and we it kind of went with our gender role and who we actually had they gave some background history on the ticket and at the very end there's a little bit of a memorial area where they they have everybody's names listed and you can find your name and see if you survived or not 
So my girl, she came with her husband and her eight-year-old daughter, and she and her daughter survived. Unfortunately, her husband did not. And then Daniel's guy actually came with some friends, and all three of them survived, which was kind of crazy because his was third class, which most of them did not survive, especially the men, and mine was second class. So it was really cool to kind of have a little bit of a personal touch Try to find your person and see if they were fortunate or unfortunate. Okay, change of plan. So we're a little early for the friend and I don't have my mic on. So hopefully you can hear me, but we just wanted to check this place out. It does helicopter tours just out of curiosity. And Daniel is literally going to have us take flight and go see like Disney and everything from the air. So we're going on a helicopter tour to kill time and that's crazy. was when he was turning and you had um it was kind of like glass under your feet because he's turning so you're kind of looking down and you just see the floor you see the ground and I'm like oh my gosh but you get used to it really quickly it was what 15 minute flight or so mm -hmm. fantastic you loved yeah I love it, it was super good. fun yeah, yeah. We are, we are, we are, we are.
Oh my gosh, I absolutely love our goofy moments. Anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really hope that you enjoyed. This is the end of part one, but we do have part two coming on the 15th. So be sure to check that one out too, where we go to SeaWorld and Disney and we stay at a condo on New Smyrna Beach. Thanks so much. Stay positive. <laughs>